Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. What do they want from you? This is for Aries. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for April 2022. So we're going to take a look at someone that is uh, coming back into your life. We're going to see uh, what they want and um, and what will happen if you allow this person back into your life, okay? Um, so I'll apply this to your own unique situation. Maybe this person has uh, came back a while ago and this person's just coming back or this person will come back, okay? Um, like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. All right, let's see what we have here for you, Aries. Tell me about the person that is just coming back into Aries' life. What does this person want from Aries? What does this person want from Aries? For April 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. We have the Magician. The Magician and the King of Pentacles. Might be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Gemini here. Um, seems like this person wants to do everything they can to make something work with you here. Perhaps in the past, this person didn't really put in a lot of effort. Okay, uh, maybe in the past this person felt like they couldn't make things happen, but I feel like now they can, or that now they're willing to do it. Now they're willing to give you the commitment and the loyalty that you're looking for, perhaps. Okay, um, we have the Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. Okay. This is interesting because I feel like this person is showing you that they want want it all with you, but I feel like this person's still guarded too. With the two of swords here, maybe this person's still confused about what they want. Or that they have, or you've dealt with this person and they've always had a hard time making a decision or something like that, okay? You have the ten of pentacles and the ace of wands. Yeah, so this person wants a new beginning here with you. And this person is looking for marriage. This person is looking for commitment, all right? So, yeah, someone here is looking to start all over again with you. But I do feel like this person is coming in a little bit guarded, maybe a little bit confused, too. Uh, I feel like, you know, with the two of swords, I feel like more so they're trying to gauge you to see if you're, um, you know, on board or whatnot, okay? Um, tell me about the magician. The magician and the empress in the reverse. So this could be you right here. This is you not wanting to deal with this, okay? This is you basically having nothing nothing to give anymore, all right? King of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups. Yeah, so this king here wants an opportunity to hear with this empress, but this empress is sort of like, no, I just don't have any more anything more to give. I don't have the energy anymore, okay? Um, seven of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. King to the Queen of Pentacles here. Two of Swords. Oh. It seems like this King of Pentacles may be separated from this Queen of Pentacles here. Perhaps at some point in the past, this person left you to be with a soulmate here. And I feel like this soulmate connection didn't work out. Okay. Um, it, it seems like at some point, this person was trying to make a decision between this Queen of Pentacles and the Empress here. So, you know, place yourself where you see fit. I feel like you're this Empress here, uh, Aries, okay? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, we have Judgment here. Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. It seems like we have someone here that made a bad decision. Someone here is looking for a second chance, uh, Aries, and I feel like it's this King. Ace of Wands. And the three of wands, three plus one is four. This person's been yearning for you for a long time. This is interesting. Even though this person has a very strong soul connection with the, with this queen of pentacles, because it's a true pair, I, I feel like this person has always yearned for you or has always wanted you or, or always longed for you here, okay? And I feel like this is this person's opportunity to come back and um, give it another go, 
um, let's see what else we have. The thing is, like Aries, I feel like you not, might not even be on board with this because I feel like you don't want to be someone's second best or something like that, you know? Um, what will happen if Aries allowed this person back into their life? What will happen if Aries allowed this person back into their life for um, April 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. What will happen if Aries allowed this person back into their life? Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. So I feel like that should be right here. The two of pentacles. Ace of cups. You know what's going to happen? I feel like you just want to look for new love here. I feel like you're out there meeting new people, okay? Seven of cups here. Seven plus one is eight. I just feel like you're going to keep up, keep moving along. Um, eight of swords. Let's get one more. In the Hierophant, in the reverse, Taurus energy. So, you know, I feel like... I feel like this is your energy over here where you're feeling, like, fearful and paranoid. If Let's say if you did allow this person back into your life, you're feeling like they're not, not going to commit to you. They're going to go off and look for other options like they did before. There is a saying, once someone shows you who they are, trust it. And I feel like, you know, you kind of have it in the back of your mind that, you know, I think, I feel like, they, you, you know, this king could do it again. The Nine of Pentacles. Wow, we have the lovers here. You know, I feel like there's new energy in and around you regarding love here, okay? Because we do have that Ace of Cups. And, you know, this person, this new person could be in and around your orbit or something like that, okay? Um, you know, I, I feel like you might not have met this person yet, but we're going to see here. So I'm going to have the Two of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. You know, right now, currently, um, you might possibly have a lot on your shoulders right now regarding work and perhaps you're very stressed out or that... You know, this king could be stressed out that you're not giving them another chance or something like that, okay? Um, let's see, Ace of Cups. We have the Chariot here, Cancer Energy. Yeah, I just feel like you're just moving forward. You know, there's new love that could be coming towards you, like I said, I feel. Uh, I do feel like you have a lot of options, but there's one person in particular. Could be a Gemini, could be a, um, a Cancer here. Uh, tell me about the Seven of Cups. And the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces Energy. This is interesting because I feel like you already, you, you feel like maybe this new person might be coming towards you already. Uh, perhaps a soulmate connection with the lovers here, okay? Um, tell me about the Eight of Swords. You, you could also be keeping quiet about all the business that you're handling right now. If this if you do choose to communicate with this person that's, uh, you know, trying to come back, okay? We have the star, Aquarius energy with the eight of swords. Tell me about the hierophant here. And then we have the three of cups. I mean, Aries, you could also be focusing on your healing right now, okay? Uh, surrounding yourself with people that have the same morals, uh, the same core values as you do. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, you could be really focusing on your work or, you know, this king could also be uh, working really hard, trying to sneak back into your life, okay? With this Eight of uh, Pentacles and the Seven of Swords here. Um, but, you know, I just feel like you, you're, yeah, I just feel like you just don't have time for this. I feel like you, you rather have you know, you'd rather not go backwards and just move forward and, you know, find someone that is not going to possibly pull this on you again, okay? So, Aries, hope this was helpful. Hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.